morning glampers. It's only a little bit moist in here. It's not even that bad. I thought it was going to be riddled with condensation. It's not that bad at all. And look at the sunshine. This morning has broken like the first. Oh, come on. Ah. Oh. Most glorious. Right, out and about. I tell you what, them first few steps on feet. Why? Why ya ya da? Hurt. I'll quickly show you my setup. Not bad. Let's hike another day and get another day closer to the lighthouse so we can Chinzano. <laughs> Let's go. And we're away. Left no trace as per. Oh, we're straight into the bog. <laughs> there's almost, well, there isn't any point in, there's no point in drying your socks off. You're just going to get wet again. I don't plan on doing a full day like I did yesterday. I was going for like 12 hours yesterday, so nothing too spicy. <sighs> Mate. And this is where it, <coughs> it justifies me wearing the um, outdoor research trail running hat. Because you've got that sun beating down on you. And the back of the cap just protects the back of my neck. Look at that boppy there. In middle of nowhere. Beautiful. Also, there's a house right over there. Who lives there? Mad. What I can't stop thinking is, as the birds sing and the, the sun gently cascades down onto the back of my neck, I think to myself, I'm being too lucky here. I'm pushing my luck because I've had the best of it. Hiking, like yesterday was perfect hiking conditions and it wasn't until I got to my tent that it started pissing it down. Today, I mean there's clouds but look at the sky man. The low lying clouds enveloping the tops of the mountains. Sun shining, not a breath of wind. Birds singing. <laughs> oh, I appreciate this because I know that it's going to kick my ass at some point if i end up doing this whole trek and i don't get annihilated by the weather then i'll be the first person to ever do it so and also i've been lucky with the midges as well not lucky i chose my time to come but i'm still to get the combination of the nice weather and no midges that's alchemy. <laughs> That's what you want. That's the holy grail when you're in the highlands is decent weather and no midges. I'm heading over towards these trees this, and I'm going to hit the track in there and we're going to go through the forest and out to a beautiful looking lock. By all accounts, it looks wonderful. Glorious. Look at this man, does that look safe? Looks a bit shoddy, looks a bit shod. What a place to swim. 
Right, let's do it. I think, yeah. Oh, 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 it's wobbly. Woo, made it. Made it. Oh, look how beautiful it is. If it was sideways rain, freezing wind, midges, everything that Scotland can be, maybe I wouldn't enjoy it as much. Look at that, man. I wish I'd camped here, I wish. If I hadn't chose to do such a mad day and broke it up into a few days, like camping here would have been great. Just on that bit of grass near the bridge. Swimming in there, surrounded by water. I'm gonna use this trip to learn how to say water instead of water. And I'm gonna, and then it's gonna cement it in Pavlovian conditioning, water. But you can see like there's bits of old dead tree there and stones and the way that the rock's carved out that when it's in when it's in spate it'll come all the way around there pretty much up to the bridge. Goodbye. Um, I'm gonna stop for a brew, just rest my feet a little bit, morning break, and then I'm going <laughs> heading up into there. I've got to cut my way through all that. Absolutely bonkers, but look how beautiful it is. It's stunning. So I thought, I'll have a bit of sunbathe. Look at that rock, man. Shiny bits in there. Because I'm a bit para about sitting sitting on grass too much with all the uh with ticks but this is perfect ah perfect little brew zone and also i've got my mate over here oh he's got is he there can you see him huh deirdre barlow Come and have a brew, mate, if you want. Kettle's going on. I don't have a windshield. I just use my bag as a windshield. Um, oh, but yeah, oh, yes, mate. Gonna have a, I'm gonna enjoy a coffee. And I might even have one of my bars. One of my protein bars. I think I've earned it. Because this next bit is tough, looks tough, mate, so. And there's uh, quite a few river crossings as well, so we'll smash that out. And then I reckon I'm going to camp by that lock somewhere. There's a bothy there, but it's Saturday night. And I'm guessing that's going to be rammed. Normally, I'd have top off getting some sun on me, but I'm covered up even though it's warm. Because I don't want to risk getting burnt. Because imagine getting burnt on your shoulders and then have to carry a pack 200 pounds miles or whatever it is. Sack that off. Snack time. Oh, clouds are starting to look a bit ominous. Here we've got chai charge. <laughs> chai seed flapjack with sea salt flakes. High in omega-3 electrolytes, antioxidants, energy from real food. Go on then, mate. Go on then. We'll have a go on it. Whoosh. Nice. Glorious. What a time to be alive. There's some clouds over there that look a bit a bit menacing, so everything could change. <laughs> Oh, that's bonnie, is that? Put a bit more water in so I can smish it faster. Thanks, thanks, Rock, for having me. 
probably never ever see you again. Ah, so long. That's the beauty of it as well, and it's also transient. I'm just passing through, aren't I? I'm just passing through, and it feels good. It feels good. To have chai seeds stuck in your teeth. Yeah, the weather's a bit too nice, mate. I'm a bit worried. It's like, uh, it's like a, um, it's like a nut job. It's like if Begbie, off train spotting, you know, when he goes a bit quiet or he's too nice, someone like that is overly nice. You think, hey, up, something bad's coming, and I feel like, I feel like that <laughs> with weather. It's like lowering me into a false sense of security with windmill on daft at. Oh go, 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 hiking in the, I'm hiking in the islands. Look, look, it ain't that bad. It ain't that bad. And then, boom. The full force of mama nature all over me. But I've rehearsed my drills for torrential rain. My priorities of what to cover. My little bag here. Although it's water resistant, isn't waterproof, so everything, I mean, I'll show you all this. Or I maybe even have already showed you all this. Depending on what's going on with timeline of things, but... My little bag here, with me, me bits and pieces, camera, phone, my vitamins, my mushroom vitamins. <laughs> um, a little snooty hat thing, like a buff slash hat. Uh, earphones, little bits and pieces, and I, all all that is inside a Ziploc bag, just a sandwich bag. And then there's also a dry bag in there as well, and a flat sponge, so that if in the case of torrential rain, like, because you've got to be prepared for rain all day long for days on end. So that's what I'm re that's what I'm ready for. And so everything, there's a sandwich bag would be zipped up. Then that would go into the dry bag and then anything that does leak into this bag through the zip will just catch in the bottom and be absorbed by the sponge which I can then wring out. <laughs> That's that. I've got and then I've got my uh, my Berghaus deluge. <laughs> Sorry if I've already told you this, but we're just we're just having a little chat about gear, aren't we? And it's nice to, and I wanna. Yep, quick access to me Berghaus Deluge trousers. Not, I mean, I'm. You get soaking up to your, to your knees at least. But I just don't want constant rain just on me nuts and my ass and, and uh, just uh, stops chafing and it. So I've got them to chuck on. And then I've got my waterproof top. Which I will let you have a look at at some point. I was thinking of doing a review of it because it's ace. The waterproof coat. That goes on. And then my new bag cover. So that's the bag covered from the outside. And I've also got a 45 litre um, plastic bag on the inside as well. So, and then once all that's done, my hood's up. Fully waterproof. Everything good to go. So, that's my drills in case in case it turns, so I'm not worried. Oh man. You having that look? Huge. There's the trees, near to where I had my coffee. I've made all the way, come all up here. Boggy, very boggy, slow going. Uh, and then, we sort of cut in between these mountains. So I'm assuming we're gonna just sort of traverse this round into the next valley. <laughs> Which is what we'll do. The sun, it's hot man, it's, it's sapping me a little bit, but I'm never gonna grumble about the sun in the highlands, man, never. You can all change at the drop of a hat. I'm very lucky. Very lucky at the moment. Ah. Ah. Medic! I was worried about this medic. I was worried that I was going to find this. 
antlers. And then how am I going to leave that? <sighs> no. It's a wonderful one, two, three, four point antler. Look at that. Beautiful thing. <sighs> Damn it. I can't leave it behind. Right, I'm going to strap it to my bag <laughs> and then I'm going to play a game. Anything less than that, I'll leave. Anything better than that, I'll replace this with the thing that's better than this. <laughs> Cut to a full deer skeleton on back by the time I get to the lighthouse. Right, where's it going to go, man? I'm carrying a, an antler and a can and all the monk. There's your super lightweight. <laughs> I can't believe it, my camp shoes are a set of bread bags. <laughs> Couple of plaggy bags that you put bread in. Because I was that bothered about weight and you know saving space. Now look. Total boof ball. I don't want it anywhere where it's gonna do me any mischief. It's part of my kit now. Right, that's it. I'm boiling mate. I don't care. Tights are coming out. Tiats. Get your tiats out. I think that's all. That's as good as it's going to get. Oh, why couldn't I have found it on last day? Day three. I'm going to have to lug that thing about with me. What about when I get to Ullapool walking through town centre with it on? <laughs> that looks cool anyway, doesn't it? Come on. I'm feeling good, man. I feel chipper. I feel strong. The usual aches and pains, which is to be expected, you're gonna, you're gonna have aches and pains in your feet and your legs and shit, but as long as it's not like, uh, you, you know, your ankles and your knees are going and it's just, just aching from walking, that's fine, I can handle that. But morale is high, that's what's good. Probably because I just found that thing and that was exciting. Uh, Damn. Is it down there? Or up there? Right, I'm gonna have to look at my map now. See you in a bit. Oh, look at that for a plunge pool. Oh. Every five minutes I'm just seeing something, I'm like, Ugh. I just wanna get in. Medic! There we are. And there we were. Just relentless, nice, beautiful, rugged nature. Relentless. You get there and you're like, wow, that is absolutely stunning, man. A huge, peaceful lake and surrounded, enveloped by all these huge mountains, rocks and everything on the side. Bosh. A bigger one. Hey, look at that. Deer stood on that hill like that. Sometimes Scotland is just almost ironically Scottish. And then there were two. First time I've done a little bit of map reading on the air. I've just been using me uh, GPS, but I I made notes on this map, so every now and again yeah, I'll just check it. Um, I've not needed to take a bearing with the compass yet. Maybe later on, if I feel like I need to take a bearing, what well, as soon as it gets off piste a little bit more. But with this, I'm just following the valley through, so it's kind of obvious where I'm going. Yeah, maybe later when it gets to moorland then I'll take a bearing, but for now I don't feel like I need to. Uh, but I've just put a marker on here to say go up. And that's what we're gonna do, we're gonna go up there. And I've just checked the GPS is the same as on here. So I estimate maybe 45 minutes to the bothy, depending on the ground. It looks a bit steep. You see all the contours around there, it looks, and it looks like it just falls straight onto the bothy. And all this is tidal lock, so there's no camping there so I might have to just pull up here or push on through a little bit and see what we can find. I've had my second energy bar for the day 
just about to smash a load of water in and then uh, and then I rested my feet a little bit and then we'll bat on a bit of a steep climb up there but look at that <laughs> I came through that valley there and I'm going down there you can see the loch Whew. fantastic look at that man <laughs> hey beautiful I was thinking of keeping in here but it looks a bit brambly <laughs> doesn't it nice little fireplace but nah not the one home sweet home Wherever I lay my antler, antler and deck is my home. And listen, dry ground. Oh, the first pitch on dry-ish ground. It's relatively, yeah, it's dry. So I'm construing my clothes over there. Not bad. Ah, not a bad sight. Uh, there's a little stream here, it's shallow, very shallow, but I think I'm just going to go and sit in it. I'll just sit in it and just cool my legs and my feet, I think. Just for the muscles, cool them down and then get in the tent oh, and I'm going to have some hot food. <laughs> Look how ominous it is up there, look where I came from. Oh man, that is good. The boff is over there. I've seen a couple of people go into it. I've got no interest in going in boffies just yet. I'm still happy in Lanshan. Wow! Come on, let's go for a... Let's go and cool down the old joints. It's got to be good for them just soaking them in cold water, just to... Water. Do you know? It helps me anyway. Whether it's real or not. It helps. I've, you know. I've seen... You see athletes do it, don't you? Ice baths and that, so it's pretty much an ice bath. Oh, it's not very deep. It's not very deep at all. Where's the deepest bit? There. That's the deepest bit. Oh! Hold. Oh, here, yeah, should take that off and that, yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Wait down with a stone. Oh, top off. Come on. If we're gonna do it, man. Just do it. While well, the rains are coming. That's nice. Let's get pits done as well. Let's get pets done. Tits out and that. Wee. All right. Leave everything out here to get dry as well. A little makeshift windbreak. Because it's starting to pick up a bit. I was tempted to uh, tempted to deploy the delta pegs, but the ground's so dry it was just nipping onto them to me Hilleberg pegs. So I'll just stick to them. What am I going to have for tea? As soon as we're near a lock, I think maybe salmon. Or should we have the beef? Oof, decisions. I think I'll just go with whatever's heaviest. Don't blow off a dong bat. Beef stew and tatties. And to say that I'm excited about it is an understatement because I'm famished. It's a long day just to have two two energy bars. Oh, smells delightful. 
There's a lot of, I can, my mouth's watering mate. There's a lot of colour in it which I like. There's no point me doing this is there. Oh. Nah. No. That's incredible. Potatoes, beef, carrots, green beans, onions. <laughs> oh, look at how dark the clouds are getting, man. Mmm. It's the simple things, isn't it? Bit of warm food, and it's just. Oh. That's tasty, mate. Mm. Right, I'm gonna close this door up and finish my beef stew because I like to close the door because, well, the mesh just to keep all the critters out. It's raining. I stopped at just the right time. Again. So these are my camp shoes. It's just two, <laughs> two small bread bags. Um, so when I get to camp, I can just, well, I'm gonna do it now, so I'll show you, but I'll just chuck them on. I put them on, on my feet, but I'll keep my dry socks on, and then I'll just put my wet shoes on over the top. I'm gonna go and have a look outside, see what it's like. It's been raining. It's been raining for a couple of hours. And I want to have a look what it's like. Oh, yes. As long as they're loose and they are soaking, you've seen me being at river. And then in there, snug, and then they come off, bag comes off, and my socks are still dry. Even though they're soaking, my feet are dry with my dry socks on. These lads are legging it up. <laughs> I guess they didn't know, they couldn't see me in me. Um, I'm so camouflaged. And they've come down for a little munch. Nice, because they wouldn't have thought anything about that. Might even get a decent sunset if I'm not passed out fast asleep. Fast asleep. But it's, look, I just see deer just here, look, grazing away, drinking from the river. And the lock, the tide has come in on the lock now, so you can't even get round there. Maybe I'll have to wait until the tide goes out to get round there in the morning. Around that, um, where am I? Around that headland. I'm the only person in this whole area. Um, the people that I saw in the bothy earlier, they just skinned out some. They must have been there from yesterday. Midges. Uh, so there's no one in the boffy. I could have stayed in it, but <laughs> I'm well happy in that, man. Well happy in that. It's unbelievable, man. I'm just watching like a herd of deer grazing. <laughs> Scottish, mate. Beautiful. Beautiful, just unbelievable. A beautiful part of the world. One of the most beautiful, mate. You can't, you know, when you say about raw nature, the highlands of Scotland, just what are you gonna do, mate? What are you gonna do? The highlands of Scotland have got to be on, 
They're on everyone's list, aren't they? They're on everyone's top ten for sure, but... I've always said, like, here or like, Scandinavia... I don't know, there's something majestic about it, man. It's un I know it's unforgiving, but look, and I keep saying it, but how lucky have I got it? Look at this. What time is it now? It's ten past seven, the sun is shining. It's drying my tent out. Drying all my stuff out. Really lucky and really appreciate it. <sighs> anyway. And there he goes, David. I was just sat out on my bank having a, just enjoying the scenery and a fellow hiker hiked by and he recognised me from the ferry so I think it was David. Hello David if you're watching this mate, I um, hope you had a, a nice hike. I don't think he was going to the Cape but he was on the Cape Wrath Trail so nice to speak to you mate, take care, hope you uh, I hope you managed to have a nice hike and, and it was a safe and successful one. Right then, Mapper Shango. There's the boffy, that's where I slept next to this little river here. Cracking start to the day, lovely day, just start getting my, my legs working through this woodland, glorious scenery through this woodland. Bit of a steep scramble up here, along the edge of the wood, and this is where I, when I came out the edge of the wood, I sat here and had my cup of coffee and my energy bar and carried on going through the valley up and then you come down the other side and you hit these two two bodies of water it's just beautiful just lovely lovely scenery and then you get to here and you've got to go up onto this high bit and around and then you start to make your way down. It doesn't show it here. There's just a little collection of stuff, but it's like you have to zigzag all the way down. But the scenery, again, just stunning to look out over the lock. Came down here. Um, there's the boffy there. And I'm opposite on this side here. Bang where the point of my knife is there. I think. Yeah, around there. Whew. Not very far, I know, but the terrain, and I just wanted to have an easy day, and I'm glad I did. By the time I got here, and it was three o'clock, I was pretty shagged, and um, on the map, there was a long, long way to go to the next camp spot that I've marked on here. There might be other ones, but I didn't want to risk it and not be able to find anywhere, and this place was perfect. The ground is dry. I've got a water source next water source next to me. My keks are drying out. Right, we're going off tomorrow. We're going off peace tomorrow. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, thanks for watching. If you if you want to be notified of the next episode coming out, then click the bell next to the subscribe button, and you'll get notified when I uh, when I upload it. Thanks for watching as always, take care.